Uh, I'm Mark, and I'm married to Shauna, and we have three wonderful children, Devin, Skyler, and Kylie, 13, 12, and 7. When my wife and I first got married, we had already accumulated, individually, we had each already accumulated a considerable amount of debt with credit cards and car loans and student loans. And then, of course, being married, you know, you have to have a house, so, uh, you know, after about a year and a half of marriage, we uh, dove into the process of getting a house. First baby showed up after two years, and then 13 months later, we had our second baby, and she, tremendous blessings in our life, but uh, we weren't ready financially. I mean, what, was, what really was blessings in our life were, were also financially, it, it was a burden. We found ourselves, after a few years of really struggling and things going backwards, we found ourselves in over $85,000 of non-house debt, so the credit cards, student loans, car loans, uh, you know, medical bills, you name it, we probably had it. We had about every kind of debt you can think of. But with our home group at our house one night, we got the, you know, the official delivery, the doorbell rang at 8 o'clock at night, official delivery of the foreclosure paperwork that are letting us know that our house was going into foreclosure. And so finally, humiliated and devastated, we finally hit rock bottom where we were sincerely and genuinely willing to trust the Lord with everything uh, that we were supposed to be stewarding for Him. Four and a half years after that rock bottom moment, we got debt free and had a party, had all our friends together and had a big time, but we realized that it was about a lot more than uh, just us and what we could accomplish and removing a burden from us. It was about learning to have an attitude of gratitude and be willing to uh, put God first in our finances. When I come to a church, I love to teach the students how to apply God's principles to their finances or to whatever amount of money they might have from babysitting or mowing the lawn or just the allowance from their parents. I love to teach on their level a way to manage that in a way that honors God and sets them up for success financially. And then I also love to teach the adults, the parents, how to do the same in their, in their finances on a much more uh, complex or detailed level for uh, all the responsibilities that come with being an adult and a parent. And then I, I love to bridge the gap between the two, uh, teaching uh, parents and youth and students how to relate to each other and communicate with one another, have, have open dialogue and transparency in the learning process and the living it out day to day of uh, applying God's principles uh, to the, all the finances together so that it sets families up for generational success in their future. It sets families up to uh, be good financial stewards, be God honoring financial stewards for generations to come. It can really change the future. It can change history. I'm Mark Asbell and I love to make disciples by teaching stewardship and I look forward to serving you.